technology contained within the modern motor car can be both fascinating but slightly baffling nowadays as well. Most of such technology exists to make our cars safer, more efficient and just better than ever to drive. But some of it can be quite confusing for the average motorist, so in this A to Z series we will attempt to unravel the mystery of technology that is the modern motor car. Starting here with the letter A. A is for adaptive cruise control, which will become increasingly relevant as our cars become more autonomous in years to come. Adaptive cruise works by using radar technology to enable a vehicle to maintain its distance relative to the vehicle it's following. Eventually, this technology will allow so-called road trains to drive along our motorways, in which a driver can effectively switch off until they need to leave that motorway. But that's a little while away just yet. A is for aluminium, which is key to reducing weight but maintaining strength in vehicles like those produced by Jaguar Land Rover, who claim to make more cars using aluminium than any other manufacturer in the world. By using aluminium instead of steel for a car's key structures, you not only reduce its curb weight, but also increase its fuel efficiency, improve its dynamic potential, strengthen its core and reduce its emissions. A is also for anti-lock brakes, which enable a driver to stop a car with maximum efficiency while also being able to steer around an obstacle at the same time. Anti-lock brakes work via sensors not only down at the wheels but throughout the car. When the system detects a potential lockup, it reduces braking power at the relative wheel and by keeping that wheel rotating, this enables the driver to maintain steering control while braking. A is for adaptive terrain response, which works in a similar way to anti-lock brakes, but also using the transmission and traction control systems to help maintain grip on uneven surfaces, i.e. when off-road. Electronics obviously play a key role in this technology, allowing the anti-lock, the traction control, the transmission and the suspension systems all to work as one to help generate maximum grip on slippery surfaces. A is for assisted lane keeping, which again uses the same radar technology as the adaptive cruise, but this time to keep a vehicle traveling within its required lane. Sensors to the front and sides of the vehicle identify numerous features around the car to keep it traveling in a straight line sending subtle pulses back through the steering wheel if it veers off course, such as when a driver begins to fall asleep at the wheel. A is for airbag. The average Jaguar Land Rover has more than 10 of these situated throughout its cabin. They deploy when motion sensors detect that a sufficiently dramatic decrease in vehicle speed has taken place and are then inflated in milliseconds before the passenger impacts with the cabin. Airbags then deflate almost as rapidly as they've just inflated to help further soften the blow during impact. Airbags have saved millions of lives since their introduction in the 1970s. And finally, A is for auto dimming mirrors. These work via light sensors contained within the mirror itself. When the sensor detects an excess of light, a shade is applied across the surface of the mirror and as if by magic, the excess brightness to the driver's eye is removed. Next week, the letter B.